welcome now what we want to do is we want to look at an example of partial update what do i mean by partial update so let's say now in our database i just want to update the this column description column of this particular row and keep these values as is so for that we have to use a method called patch method so what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy paste this or let me do it for you so i will say public for now let's name it as void update property description only i just want to update description so i will say update property description So I will say update property descript that's the type of description all right and now what I can do is I can pass only the property description so I can pass a string or I can just use like this address request body and I can say property property DTO long property id and now i will use something called at the rate patch mapping and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this exact same thing and i'm going to just try to change the url as update update description slash so that tomorrow let's say i want to update the price so i can copy this and paste it again and i can say update price and everything will remain same just i will make this as update price so we can have many number of patch operation all right so now what i want to do is i want to also keep this method in my service so copy this and of course after updating what we want is the updated dto so copy this yeah similarly i will also copy this method which is update price and put it in our service layer Similarly, we can have more fields, more methods stating update, email update, owner name, whatever we want. Now we go to our service and hover on it, implement methods. So it will give us two dummy methods. Here again, we have to do the exact same thing what we did here. So we first need to find out the element so we'll copy this paste it here and we'll find the element with the id this and what we want to do is we instead of updating everything we don't we don't want this because we just want to update description so we don't want this no, don't want this neither this only description that site so we only want to update the description and then we want to return the data so i'm going to copy this paste it here and here i will just update the instead of description it will be get price this will be set price perfect so now we have this method and this will be exactly the same nothing changes here so we have the price the same entity we will pass to for update 
so let's go ahead and now see to update the partial uh, to update the price and also to update the description so let's start our server so we will use the same and then we will just try to update the let's see so this is the id2 property id2 we want to update the description now it's null so we want to update it with yeah our server has started let me clear it up so this is an example of partial update so our id is 2 property id is 2 but our url is also changed what's our url let's see in our controller oh wait before we test we have to complete our controller we haven't completed our controller logic so copy this thing as is we can paste it here one thing that is not correct is we are passing in update we were passing created that's not correct we should pass okay because in we are just updating something so let's copy this paste it here and we paste this here same thing nothing changes and we change the return type to this and this okay so now we have to update the description so copy this url so let's start the server go here and we say update description slash we can get rid of everything and we don't even need title we just pass the description so we say nice property that or we can say property facing the C perfect so let's go ahead and try to hit so if we clear this we can see the what is the query it's generating so let's try to hit this so we see that something went wrong and what is that it says api property is this so we are using a wrong method see so we got a wrong status 405 method not allowed because our method is actually patch not put so let's change this to patch which is partial update now we send it and we have an error let's go ahead and check what's the problem so the given id must not be null it says and where is it so if we go here so we have property description property id is the value that we are passing properties update description 2 all right we have to change this method now it should not be update property it should be update property description and this method should be update property price we made a copy paste mistake that's fine that this is how we also learn and debug and fix errors save it let's start it again let's start in the debug mode to show you how we can debug this so let the server start and then we can debug it out the server is starting up it's initializing the jpa entity started clear all let's put a debugger in here hit this so we got now what we have is in the property dtu we will only get one field that's description others are null 
and we will also get our id we did not get our id which means something is wrong yeah there, there it is we did not use the path variable annotation so it did not set it that's correct let's fix this as well so path variable similarly we have to use the path variable here as well now start it again never mind we are now also learning how to debug our code because not always you will write the right code so there will be situations where you have to also see what's going on in your code understand the error and fix it so that's good for us we are doing that so now clear the console all right now we have the hover on it we got this perfect let's hover on this we got this right let's go inside this service layer let's go again so great let's see what in the property description if everything updated yes property facing c other details are exactly same nothing changed let's go there further and resume it so what we see it has updated the description can we check in the database let's connect again run it perfect yes we did update the database let's try to update the price of this from 999 to something else and we can use another method so i can say price and here i can say 232324.56 something like this and here now the endpoint will change to update price because that's what we have in our controller so in our controller we have update price as the patch method nothing else changes so let's go to console and here you see this is the select query that is got fired for this find by whenever we are doing this first we are doing a find by right this one and then because for this save there is an update query that got fired and if you see update only the property where the description value got updated so now if i clear this and run it again for price we'll see only the price will be updated you see the price is updated and if you see again two queries one is select to find the item and then the update let's check the database the old price was 999 if i run the query again the new price is this so this is how you can do partial update of the data using patch operation so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video